Coach, just opening statement. Uh, what a ball game this morning. All sorts of stuff going on in this one. Just opening statements, your thought of moving on to the championship for the regional. Well, I mean, Johns Hopkins, first of all, what a baseball team they have. Uh, they got tremendous power, great pitching. They just keep on bringing bullets at you. Um, I can't say enough about Ryan Kenter. I, I thought he, he was matching, uh, just you know, three pitches for strikes, keeping them off balance. I mean, a really good hitting club. And, and he rose to the occasion. Uh, Neil Dutton, another senior that normally is our left fielder, closed the game, got a big out there in the seventh, and then threw a, a shutout eighth and ninth. Uh, Dylan came off the bench there, uh, looked for a baseball that he could handle, uh, drove it into uh, left center after big hits, you know, by uh, three consecutive, Jake Lowe, Dan Cameron, and Luke Neusman. Uh Dylan got a pitch he could handle, and fortunately we came out on top. Yeah, Brian, Coach said, hands you the ball in a game like this, must win game for you guys. You come out and uh, you deal for, for six and two thirds. And what was going through your mind? What was the approach against this coach said a real yeah. tough hitting team? Uh, I just try to take it in by inning. I just try to have a pitch and uh, let my defense do all the work. Yeah. What was uh, when you're attacking some of those big guys, some of the big hitters? What was the thought process? You try to look away. You're gonna challenge some of these guys. No, or? we had a plan, um, and we just stuck with it. You know, I trust coach plan, and we just went with each. I just tried to take it out by. Eye. I didn't really, you know, look to see who was up. I just saw it was another big opportunity to get it out. So. Yeah. yeah. Coach said, big rally in the eighth inning, two out rally for you guys. You come in in a big spot and get the job done. What's what's going through your mind? What's the approach as a pinch hitter sitting on the bench all game long and well, get your number called in a big spot? Well, um, I've been doing it for half the season now, and I'm used to it. Um, I love it. It's the best thing ever to come in and, and help the team out. Uh, what was really going through my mind was just get a fastball. I was looking for a fastball because I knew they were going to challenge me since I was a pinch hitter. And I uh, was just looking for a pitch that I could drive, and driving those runs, do my job. Yeah, coach, back and forth game, uh, unearned run in the first inning for you guys. You get on the board early, controversial home run down the line. What type of resiliency you saw on your team to, to come with that two hour rally late in the game? Well, we meet every, at the end of every third, and we try to make adjustments based on three innings at a time rather than one or two. Uh, and when we met there in the sixth, the only thing I relayed to our players was I thought it was the best focus we'd had all year. The good things are going to happen. We just got to keep on, you know, grinding away, grinding away, and something's going to happen uh, positive in, in our nature. I, I think what was huge, Ryan kept us in the game. Robbie Marcel had some big plays at short. Christian Rice, the ball down the line when they were first and second, stepped on third. Uh, our out de outfield defense was huge. Nick Good threw out a guy at second on the ball off the wall. Uh, so, I mean, e each guy, whether they contributed offensively or not, uh, came up huge in today's game.